You want to say hi? Say hi. Hi. You got a boogies. You want to say hi, Zeke? Say hi. Okay. <laughs> I know I gave you a little attention and then you want to be all over me. All right. You got to lay down. Lay down here. Guys, she's walking. Whoa. Want to stand? Here you go. Come here. Let me hold you. Um. Oh, you can have it. Here. I think she just peed through her diaper. Did you pee through your diaper? Yeah. Hey. I'll be back. Okay, I just changed her diaper and laid her down for her second nap of the day. Second and last nap. She always just takes two naps a day. She is 10 months old now. She'll be 11 months old on the 22nd. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a life update, sit down video. Um, I'm burning up. I just went and went on a walk and I underestimated like how hot I was gonna get in this, just going on a walk. I just walked like a mile and a half. Um, usually I just go to the gym like twice a week. I've been trying to make it three times, but it's just like very difficult <laughs> um, to do that um, with two kids and stuff. So um, whenever I have time to like work out at home, I try to do that and it was so nice today. So um, I actually got off work earlier than normal, which is one of the things that I actually want to talk about. Um, so on over on Instagram, if you don't follow me, I'll leave it here. Um, I asked you guys if you guys want me to do like an update on like a sit down YouTube video or if you just want me to talk about it all on Instagram. Um, even though I was like, it's going to be like a long Instagram story if I talk about it all and I feel like I won't be able to like sit down and not ramble a bunch. I don't really know. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I do not ramble a bunch because I have like a bunch of, it's not like a whole, it's not a, it's not this huge ordeal, but I just figured I would kind of like give you guys an update because obviously you guys are like my friends over the internet and I like to update you guys on my life and yeah, so I just keep you in the loop. Um, so I guess first thing, nothing is like way more important than the other. I just figured I would kind of like just talk about like, um, things I'm going to talk about today is the boutique, um, what's going on with my boutique and then, um, what's going on with my current actual job, um, what's going on with my weight loss journey and then, um, Everly. So, um, I guess the first thing I will mention is I'm actually up for a potential job promotion, um, which kind of came out of like left field, um, without like telling too much or whatever, just because like, I don't know if I'm gonna get this position or not. It was offered to me, but I, I still had to like apply for it and everything within like the same company that I have been working with, if you didn't know. I used to work for this company and then I let go when they had like a really big mini wide budget cut and they like let go of like 15 or 20 employees, including me. And that was when I was pregnant with Everly. I was like six, seven months pregnant. I posted like a whole video about that, like updating you guys back then. Actually like four or five months after Everly was born, they actually reached back out to me and asked me if I wanted to apply for this position. It was like a contractor position, which means I wasn't like actually an employee of that company. I was like hired through a third party company, but that's how they like knew me. It was because I knew that I used to work for them. Um, so what I'm doing now is pretty much like data entry work for that company. So I work from home and do that full time. So I got that job in like August of last year. So August, 2020. And when they offered me the position, they were like, it was portrayed to me as like a 90 day job after that. Um, it just, your hours depend on like how much work they have for you. So we went in knowing like we, as in me and my husband went in knowing like I might not have this job forever. Like this is just kind of like a temporary position, which is fine because um, like you guys know, I do like my YouTube and social media and I have a lot of like side hustles that I like make income from. So if I can just make some income from another way, that's pretty easy, then I will take it. But I'm definitely not trying to like work some job that I have to like go out of the house for because I do a lot of social media stuff where I need to be able to be like on my phone and do um, just stuff at home. It's just a lot easier to do that stuff. So I was super blessed to get this position as a contract. But they um, they were telling us that we were gonna be like super busy. Like we, we've been like way busier than like what I even expected because like 90 days after um, when I got hired was gonna be like in December. And in December, my boss told us that, you know, 
we are still going to be busy. Like we definitely need you guys. So they extended our employment with them. So um, now it's March. I'm still working with them. But actually last week they just let us know that, that instead of 40 hours a week, we were actually going to be moved down to 20 hours a week which was super random just because they said that, you know, we've been like super busy, but that's fine. I'm actually, I was honestly relieved when they said that our hours gonna be, we're gonna be cut for a little while. Next week, or maybe this week, we're gonna like find out more if it's gonna be like um, a temporary cut down just for like until it gets busier again in like a different season of the, um, cause I work for a school, so an online school. And so we'll be finding out more information, but um Basically, they just didn't have as much work for us, so they didn't need to like be paying more contractors like full time income. So, but you guys know that I do my boutique and I do that like do the boutique, I do my YouTube, I do social media and everything else like that. And so, I was kind of feeling very overloaded the last I would say like month or two. Honestly, like my mental health has been like boom, <laughs> and I've never had any issues with like um, like postpartum depression or anxiety or anything like that. Like. Um, I felt like I had like a little bit of anxiety after Everly when I would like have to go places and I would have both kids with me. Like that was kind of like, oh gosh, I don't want to do this. Um, but that's really the extent of like any mental health issues that I've had. But the last like two months, especially last week was really bad. Like that was probably like the lowest I've been like, and I don't, I don't know, I'm not like diagnosed with anything or anything like that. So I don't want to like offend anyone who um, has been diagnosed with this at all, but I just had I definitely felt very low last week um, and I was able to vent to one of my best friends and um, or a couple of people and they helped me out and just made me feel better and I kind of was just in a really negative mindset like I was just feeling just like so hopeless in my weight loss journey like I was just and I'm not a negative person so like it was very annoying and frustrating to me that I could not just like get myself out of it I felt like all last week I was just like spiraling down in this negative mindset like talking so bad about myself about my body and I was like I'm not like this Brittany like snap out of it and honestly that that has to do with the scale was so frustrating for me and that's one thing that I'm going to be talking about also but without talking about that let me finish my first thing that's this is why I didn't want to ramble and on Instagram stories I it was going to be forever long so anyway, with um, my position, we got moved to 20 hours a week, and so, um, which is fine. I'm not upset about that at all. I'm like glad to have a little bit of a break so I can get caught up on housework, um, do more collabs, do more other stuff like that. Anyway, um, and just have like a little bit of a break. And um, so, once we found that out, we opened up a position. You guys probably won't understand this, and I don't feel like fully explaining everything, but I was basically... I kind of work for multiple teams where I'm at. And so this one team was basically, um, I had been working with them for a while and they actually opened up a position and they um, told me about it and they were like, they want you to apply for it. So I was like, okay. Um, and so this is actually going to be with the company. Like I won't be third party. Um, I'll be actually like um, employed full time and have like the benefits and everything like that. Um, like paid vacation and all that stuff. Um, and it's actually like a really big pay raise. And so... Um, that is one big announcement, not announcement, but just like one big change that I might be doing, um, which I'm really excited for. So, um, if you could say a little prayer for me that, you know, I could have the Lord's favor in this opportunity, it would be great. Um, so first thing first is the potential job promotion. Um, I love working with this team and I do work with them. They're so sweet and I just, I really hope I get this position because I'll still be working from home. It's still just 40 hours a week, but I will be getting paid a lot more um, which I get paid decent what I do right now. Um, but this pay raise is, is awesome and definitely will be a huge blessing for us. And, um, plus actual like benefits and stuff like insurance, health insurance and all of that. And like vacation time off. Like I don't get any paid time off with, or like sick time off. Um, like I can take them off, but they're just not paid as a contractor. So I would just be able to get all of that stuff. Um, yeah. So, and I actually enjoy what I do there. So, um, that's the first thing. The second thing, um, I guess I will talk about the boutique and with the boutique, I feel like my mind just goes like crazy with the boutique because, um, I just don't know what I want to do with it because part of me, like I'm somebody who I'm just like a hustler. I will like work my butt off and everything that I do or put my name on, like I want it to be the best. I want to, you know, um, work so hard to keep, to, you know, keep it going further and bigger and build it to be like very successful and all of that 
and I've just realized like once I started the boutique and it like started off like super successful that I was super overwhelmed working a full-time job plus the boutique plus my social media stuff plus just being a mom and a wife and like trying to be present in my family's life was very difficult um and I've also just realized like with the boutique um the boutique is not like my number one goal for like my like life I don't want to like be this huge like boutique owner and like that's what like my goal is my goal is probably to be on social media and do like YouTube for a living and like just be able to like vlog my life and like obviously to make that type of income on YouTube you have to just like be consistent and keep doing that like it's very hard to make a full-time income on YouTube videos because the AdSense is not very high at all you make money off of sponsorships like that's where that money actually comes from um, but you have to like grow your following to do that and so um I, you know, the, the work that the boutique takes, um, like I, that's just not something that like I crave as like a goal of mine. I love doing the boutique and being able to find things. And when I find them, being able to post them for you guys, I say you guys, if you're like my customer that I'm talking to you, um, I love finding new items and really cute pieces. Um, I feel like I have a really good sense of style, like <laughs> You know, I don't look like it right now, but um, when I do see items, I love, I can style things. I just love um, certain, like, styles of graphic tees, different tops, pants. Like, I just, I love styling and being, like, I don't know, just, I think I have a good sense of style is where I'm trying to go, go, get get at. And when I see items that I love, I love to post them for you guys. But I don't want to feel the pressure of having a set schedule of when I want to post them or like how often I want to post them and, you know, work really hard on like the graphic design of everything and making sure like my website is all up to date and everything like that because I'm just one person and um, yes, I'm doing this boutique by myself and like I chose to do that and I love the boutique and it's been great for our family and has blessed us tremendously. It's incredible, but I also am just like, I have way too much on my plate right now and for my mental health, I need to like reel it back and the point of me is saying like, it's not that I can't handle the boutique, is that I don't want it to be like this huge thing for me. I just want it to be, I want it to get to the point where, you know, if I get this job promotion, I, um, will feel very set and very content with um, the money or the income that I'm bringing in that these things can just be like fun hobbies of mine. So like, you know, if I don't post for a week in, week or two, I won't feel like pressure. And I feel like I'm just saying this out here because I put so much pressure on myself. It's like you don't even understand who the heck is here. What is it? Oh, speaking of the boot, the mailman is here to pick up all my packages. Give me a second. I'm telling you guys, it's such a perk having the post office pick up your packages. So I'd never have to leave the house to drop off packages. <laughs> they just come and get it. It's awesome. That has been like game changer for me. I've been really working on trying to be like as efficient as possible. Um, I used to do like local deliveries um, for people who like lived in the next like couple like cities of mine or towns or whatever. And I stopped doing that because that took forever. I didn't realize how many local people like bought from me and it just took forever <laughs> and like I, it was awesome being able to like see how many people I had to deliver to but it was way too long it took like hours upon hours to deliver to everybody so um I started shipping everything out no matter like how local you are unless you go to church with me then I just bring it to church um and then I don't even have to go to the post office now they just come pick up the packages but anyway so um I was talking about the boutique and so I just want to get to the point where um like I'm just super content with my job right now um and like if I get that other position that I just want to be able to like post whenever I want like if I'm you know all my grind feeling motivated and I want to post like every single week and come out with new items um I'll do that but also like if I want to reel it back and just be like I've actually just taken a break like it's for no reason I'm just want to and I can do that and not feel so pressured to do it like I feel like I'm just saying this and preach preaching to myself right now because I just put so much pressure on myself it's ridiculous guys like I wish you guys could like be in my mind I wish you, no actually don't want you to be because it's crazy up in here but anyway <laughs> that's just what I wanted to say I'm a very busy person and like I should not feel so pressured to be on and to be so um like hard working at like every single little hustle thing I do and so like obviously the boutique's like the biggest money maker for me on my like side hustles um but it's also a lot of work and so I just some days um or sometimes I just don't find like really cute items and like I just 
I don't know. I'm just, I just want to, I feel like I'm like going in circles here, but I just want you to understand that like, I love doing the boutique. I will do the boutique for a long time. Um, but my goal is not to be like this huge boutique owner. Like I thought when I first started it that I really wanted to, I was like, this is awesome. I love this. Like I really could be doing that, doing this, like build this to be like a huge, um, like empire for me and our, in our family. Um, but the more I was doing it and the more, um, like customers I was getting and all of that and like think like things I was looking into of like how business owners are and stuff like that. And it was just like, really don't want that. Like that's just a lot of work on top of the other stuff that I'm trying to grow as well. Like my YouTube channel, my Instagram and everything like that. My goal is to be able to, I need to actually like write down my actual like life goals, um, like what I want to be and do in like, you know, the next five, 10 years is like, I want to be able to do like vlogs, like daily lifestyle vlogs, just like put my life on the internet um, with YouTube and Instagram and just like just share my life um, and to not have like a schedule of when I have to do things um, because I would love to start like a women's ministry. Um, I used to do a Bible study and that was, that had to end when COVID started. Um, I'd love to get that started back up again, but I'm way too busy for that right now. So I'm really just trying to like find my priorities and just discover like what my heart truly desires and like what God has called me to do and get back to that point. Um, instead of being so busy 24 seven, like that's not what I wanna be. I do not wanna be tw busy 24 seven and so overwhelmed and so, um, that was another thing that really downed my like mental health was being so busy 24 seven. I would literally wake up, be working at my actual full-time job, also trying to find boutique stuff to post that week, also doing YouTube stuff, also doing Instagram, being trying to be present on social media, but then also taking care of Everly because she's home with me all, all day while I'm working. Um, yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling and I don't know if this is like sounding rantish or whatever, but I'm just trying to, you know, explain where I'm coming from and everything like that. Um, and I'm also, I'm just chilling in my living room because I didn't want to make this a big deal. Um, last week was Hayden's birthday, so that's why there's a balloon there and that's why there's decorations right there. Um, we're gonna hang up some decorations again. If you guys can see right here, we've got that still up and then that still up. Everly turned on the fire. That's why it's on, it's not cold in here. Um, but she, Hayden had her like family, family over for her birthday party. And then um, this weekend, she's having like an actual girl sleepover. So we wanted to like keep the house a little bit decorated for that. Anyway, um, so I guess we'll talk about the weight loss um, journey. So I actually don't know how much I weigh right now. The last time I weighed myself, I was 175, um, which was like a week and a half ago. So I'm probably around 175. I'm not really sure. Um, last week was like horrible for my mental health because I was getting to the point where I was just like, I am so fat. I'm so ugly. I'm never going to lose weight. I'm always going to be big. Like I'm never going to reach my goals. I just want to eat whatever I want to eat and not to track stuff. Like that's really where my mindset was at last week. And it was so upsetting because it was just like, I feel like I've been on this journey forever. And I'm like, I have to understand that it's a lifelong journey for one, like I won't always have the track for the rest of my life, but it definitely is going to help me get to my goals, you know, um, a lot quicker, a lot more efficiently because I'll be able to like see what I'm actually putting in my body. Um, I would love to eventually not have the track and do like intuitive eating, but you can't lose weight and do intuitive eating. Like that's really not a thing. Um, I wish it was, <laughs> um, but you really have to be tracking like what you are putting in your body, whether that's with points, with Weight Watchers or calories, like you really have to like figure out and be mindful of like what you're putting in your body. And so um, I'm still doing Weight Watchers. Um, I don't know if I've, I think I've told you, yes. Yeah, I'm on Weight Watchers Green Plan. And I still have 30 points. That's one thing I forgot to mention was, <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Um, so like two weeks ago, I think it was now, um, or last week, I'm not sure. I think I just heard Everly cry, maybe not. No, I didn't. Okay. So a week and a half ago or two weeks ago, I was watching a YouTube video and this girl and she's like my size and she has 30 points on the green plan. And I was like, that's so weird. Like, why do I have 36? Like I usually like, um, you know, the bigger that you're starting um, or the more weight that you have to lose, 
you start with more points and then it like gradually goes down and 30 points is the lowest points that you can have on the green plan and I had 36 so I was like you know it's probably because I still have to like lose more weight like I'm only like 20 pounds away from like my goal weight um but still and um I was just like that's just really really weird so I went and checked my app and there's like an app where you go to settings and um I checked and it said what are your goals? And it says goals, um, the options are healthy um, habits or healthy habits and weight loss. My setting was on healthy habits, not healthy habits and weight loss. So I've been overeating for the last, like since January when I restarted like doing Weight Watchers on track after the holidays. Like I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I've been eating 36 points plus like if I have a cheat day. So like I was really annoyed because I like I really haven't lost much weight in the last like month or two. Like I literally I've barely lost any. Like I've just been like fluctuating up and down certain numbers. And I'm like, why am I not consistent consistency consistently losing weight? It's really frustrating. Because I have 36 points instead of 30. 30 is for weight loss. Like, guys, I was so annoyed. So I moved it down to 30. So that's been good. Um, I actually for like a couple of days was like, maybe I'll just go back to blue and just see how it is. No, greens for me. Green, you get way more points. Yes, with blue plan, you have like eggs and chicken and like beans and corn are zero points. But I would rather just track them with the green because if I don't eat them that day, then I'm getting less points. And it's like green is just way more. You feel like you're eating more food. You're You're able to like treat yourself a little bit if you want to get like a candy bar or something like that you just have more points yes you have less zero points but you have more points so um updating with the weight loss journey i'm around 175 i don't know how much i weigh um because last week i like i said with my like mindset being so like horrible i finally made the decision to put my um scale out in the garage i'm eventually gonna have my mom take it to her house because i just don't even want it in my house because it's so frustrating for me because I'm working out as well, so I'm doing a lot of weight training. Like, I've actually started doing a lot of heavy lifting. Um, I'm, like, finding, like, that I'm in love with, like, heavy lifting. I love it. Um, and so, obviously, like, I'm building muscle, which in turn should, you know, burn more burn more um, fat faster because muscle burns fat faster. And, um, but muscle weighs more than fat, but I should still be like losing weight. But the time that it takes for your body to just kind of like get in that mode where it will start losing weight, it takes a while. So when I'm stepping on the scale every day and the scale is either going up or staying the same, it's very, very hard on my mind and very frustrating. So I was like, I would literally step on the scale every day and be like, wow, that didn't do anything. And like, I would be, I would wake up in the greatest mood step on the scale and immediately I would be super upset with myself, be mad, like, be like, why am I even on this diet? Like, I'm never going to be successful. Like, it's frustrating me because like you, like I said before, like I love to be successful in everything that I do. I'm a very like, um, like positive mindset person. Like I love challenges. Like I love, I'm very competitive. I like to get things done and do it good and be the best. And so when I can't freaking lose weight, like I could punch a wall. Like it's so annoying. I'm like, why can't I stick to this? Like, I don't understand why I'm not losing weight, especially cause I have been sticking to it the last, like since January, like I've really been on track. Like I've probably gone over calories like twice. Um, and I don't know, I've just, I've just been on track. And so it was like, what the heck? But I was eating way more points than I should have because I was at 36 points instead of 30. Um, and I've been weight training, so also my, like, weight is not going to be, like, going down a ton because I'm gaining weight with the muscle, um, which will, in turn, I will drop weight eventually, but it's just going to take a little bit of time, so the point is to, like, step off the scale because you're just going to frustrate yourself if you're, like, me and the scale, like, really determines your mood, um, so that's helped me tremendously, like, literally, when I put the scale out in the garage, I felt like a lift off of my shoulders of, like, the pressure that a number was going to determine my mood. Like, it, it's just stupid. Like, seriously, if you are like me and like the scale really determines your mood and like controls your emotions, then just put it away. Like, tell your friend about it and like have them encourage you to put the scale away because it's the best thing I've done. Um, I still wake up and I'm like, oh, I just wanna weigh myself. I just wanna know the number. I just wanna know the number. Like try to convince yourself in the mind. I'm like, I just wanna know the number. Even though it literally doesn't matter. Like I feel good, I feel great. I've stayed on track because 
the number wasn't like messing with my mind because I don't know the number. So I've actually stayed better on track, not knowing my weight and I can actually see physical changes in my body and um, you know, my clothes are fitting better and I just feel stronger and I feel healthier. And I actually watched a YouTube video. I can't remember who it was, but it was like, I think it was like Emma's rectangles, her like name on YouTube. Um, but she, I love her video if, if I can see it or find it, I'll link it above, but um, you can just type Emma's rectangle. She has this huge like weight loss story. And, um, she was like my weight, like 198 or something like that. And then got down to like, um, like my goal weight and she like did weight training to do most of it. And so I just love following her story. And, um, but, uh, what was I saying? What the heck what was I saying? Oh, she said the saying was like, um, my goal was not to be skinnier. It was to be stronger. So I wanted to feel stronger, not skinnier. And I'm like, I love that saying. I actually put it in my Instagram um, caption last week because I was like, I love that. So my focus is not to be skinnier. I want to be stronger. Like I want to have like a big, like a, you know, like muscular build, not like crazy muscular. I want to be like lean, but I definitely like, I don't know, like something about, you know, seeing those girls who are like fitness gurus and they have that like huge butts, tiny waist and like their arms are like fit, you know, like not like huge bulky or anything, but like. I'm like, I want to get like that. I want my body to see if I, my body can get like that. And so I cannot think, I can't look at the scale while I do it because obviously I'm building muscle. Um, so that was another one of my like updates with the weight loss journey is I've thrown the scale away. I'm around 175. So I'm still down like 23 pounds. Haven't really gone up or down that in a while. I will weigh myself. Um, I challenged myself to weigh myself at the end of March which is where um, my gym with my trainer, I do a, like a weekly or a six week weigh in. So um, it's like always like four or six weeks, just depends like on the schedule. But um, the last week of March on that Tuesday, cause that's when I go to my group workout classes on Tuesday, I will weigh myself then. So I will just see what my weight is then. So it is like the 9th of March or something like that today. And challenge myself not to step on the scale until the last week of March, which is going to be really hard. Like it's a, it's a challenge for sure for me because I seriously, st I still wake up and I'm like, the first thing I think about is like, oh, I just want to know like what number I am because I'm like sick. I'm staying on track and I'm like, I should be progressing. So why don't you just step on the scale and like see what it is. But I'm like, I know that it's not going to be what I think it's going to be because I am building muscle. Don't look at the number. Just don't. Do not look at it. Obvious, like my scale does show like my body fat and my muscle um, percentage and everything. So I would actually be able to tell like if my muscle mass is going up. But still the number is going to affect me right now. So I'm just like I just will. Maybe maybe I will like halfway through to treat myself. But I don't know. I'm really hoping I can just stick to it. So I, that's definitely a challenge for me. Um, so I have not weighed myself in the last like week and a half to maybe two weeks. I think it's like a week and a half. But um but yeah, I'm excited. I'm proud of myself for putting the scale away because honestly, it was really like hurting me mentally um, on my weight loss journey. So that's one, another thing. And then I'm also eating my weeklies. So before what I was doing was like I was staying on track and I was only eating my like daily points. Um, and if I went over like a couple points, I would just like, I would count it. But I, I never really went into my weeklies. I just always looked at weeklies as like those were bonus points and those were like you weren't really going to lose weight if you went into those. But I've been watching more people um, who have talked about eating your weeklies. Like it's very important to eat your weeklies. Like you're not going to be getting enough calories, especially if you work out, if you are not eating your weeklies. Even if you don't work out, like you should be eating your weeklies. Those are for because you're not always going to hit your points. Like you're going to go over a little bit. You're going to be under a little bit. Those are for like you're supposed to eat your weeklies. So I've been doing that and I've been feeling great and not feeling like I'm like failing because I go over my points a little bit. I'm just dipping into my weeklies, which is fine. You're supposed to. So that was another goal of mine for March is to not step on the scale to the end of March and eat all my like weeklies. So um, I'm excited to just see like how that does. And also with like weightlifting, like you need to be eating if you want to like gain the muscle. So like if you're working your, your butt or your glutes or whatever, you can't be on like a 1200, 1200 um, calorie deficit and expect you to like gain a bunch of muscle. Like you're just not going to. Um, so I'm excited to see how my body has changed. I posted a video or a picture on my Instagram where I was like posing in the mirror 
and I could actually see like my body like starting to defi define in like a muscular body shape that I was like actually like surprised that it looked like that in the picture I was like wow so I'm excited to see what the progress is going to be like in the summer so I'm excited but um the last thing is um oh not really anything crazy but if I do get this job promotion honestly before I heard about this job promotion um, I, I'm a contractor so I was thinking you know I wasn't gonna have this job forever and I, I've been so overloaded like mentally with like everything that's on my plate that the only thing that was pushing me to continue doing this job was that I knew it was only temporary I wasn't getting a permanent position like I knew that eventually it would end and I would just be able to then just do my boutique full-time and like create that income and keep it going and so see so get down and so I've had Everly home with me and she's needing a lot more attention and like that's you know that I don't feel like a bad mom saying that at all but I just mean like I really could not give her the attention and get my work done that I needed to get done because she's she eats breakfast lunch and dinner now she has snacks she needs um to be played with and everything like that obviously and so I'm like I can't do that and work at home with her and so I told John you know we we decided that she will be going into daycare full-time like 100% yes she will be doing that if if I get this job job promotion job is like a lot more demanding than what I'm doing right now so I was like I 100% cannot have Everly at home while I do this job so um she will be going into daycare full-time which I'm completely okay with that like I'm at the point where I'm like that that is what I need for my mental health like it's great at first like I love that she was home with me and everything because I got all the baby snuggles but now she's needing way more attention it's better for her to be with other kids and to be you know in that type of environment um so and she's 10 months almost 11 months so she's at that time where she will do great in uh, daycare so even if I don't get that job she might she'll probably still be going to like daycare so at, you know maybe part-time or anything just to like give me some to get like actual stuff done at home so um yeah I feel like I just rambled and I can tell that I'm like out of breath right now um but that's pretty much everything yeah I think that's everything so if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching but yeah so leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts let me know you watched the video um what you like from the video whatnot any comment give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys